Hi everyone, in this video I'll try to explain how to make a nice stinger for your OBS and even iMovie projects using Keynote. Okay, so here we go. First thing you do is of course open Keynote. I'm changing the uh, slide size to widescreen 16.9 and let me make it a little bit smaller. 50 so now you can see it and then the next thing you want to do format and a background no fill it in your screen it will still show up black but trust me it will be transparent okay next thing we're going to do is add a shape let's just pick a square I'm going to range it okay I'm going to pos position it at the zero zero point so that's the left upper hand corner and then the size uh, 960 which is half of 1920 and the height 1080 change the color to white then copy this one of course if you want to you can use command C command V but for clarity I'm doing this okay position so this one starts at 960 and then zero so now they match and I'm going to put in a little logo. I picked the YouTube logo. There it is, putting it in the middle. Okay, next thing we have to do is build our animations. So I'm starting with the left screen, uh, animate, build in, I'm using a very simple effect, move in from left to right, remove the bounce, I don't like the bounce and then duration half a second should be more than enough and then for the other square of course also move in but this one from right to left remove the bounce again and duration half a second so those two should match up uh, quite fine uh, a built-in effect for the YouTube logo pop is okay well everything looks fine and now the move out so this one build out add an effect so move out what am I going to do let me pick uh, okay top to bottom is fine half a second and again remove the bounce and then the right screen okay pick build out move out so then this one will go from bottom to top half a second and remove the bounce now for some more action of the logo so I'm going to give it a, a little action. But what will we do? Uh, pop pulse pulse is fine. Mm, looks fine to me. Again, you can change it to your liking. Of course, you can make these animations as complicated as you want. This is just for the tutorial. Like I'm going to build a really simple one. Uh, and then to make it disappear, let's go for a special effect. And um, sparkles, sparkles are nice. Uh, two seconds is maybe a bit long, so let me change that. Yeah, well, one and a half, why not? Okay, and now we have to put all the, uh, what is it, animations in, in order. So the first shape is going to move in, and then the second one, but I want those at the same time. So this one. So the second one is with build one and no delay. I want them to move at the same time. And then the, the YouTube logo like uh, popping into the screen. So I'm going to do that after the slides have come together uh, with a little delay. And then uh, this one, I'm moving it up. That's the pulse. Okay, that's after build three. So after it popped in, now it has to pulse. Okay, and then after that, the rectangle, I want them to slide out again. So that's going to build after it pulsated, then I want it to move out and they should move together. Uh, no delays. And then at the end, again, after build six, uh, let's leave it at that okay now comes the trick first air preview this is what it's going to look like yes looks fine okay so now 
I'm going to export this as a movie. So I'm going to file, export to movie. And then that's all fine. And uh, these are for, uh, what is it? Presentation, so custom. Adjust this one to 1920. And then you have to pick the lower one because I want the transparency. So that one doesn't work, but this one, the 4444, export with transparent backgrounds and next. Okay, so this will give you movie with a transparent background. Let's save this one. YouTube Stinger and export. It's creating the movie. Takes a while on my rusty MacBook Air. Okay, so now I'm going to OBS. Here's my OBS. I've got a, first let me pick a color source as a background. Okay, uh, let's give this one a nice color that everyone can see. Uh, up this hefty yellow and then change the width and the height okay and in my second scene let's also add a color uh, what color are we going to pick here of course usually that would be like your camera or your desktop showing whatever but just for this tutorial to see what it's like oh, change the dimensions okay so now I've got two scenes and then OBS should be able to switch between those with a nice transition. So I'm going to add a stinger. Maybe give that one a name. Uh, YouTube with a capital T, YouTube stinger. Okay, I'm going to pick the file I just created with Keynote. Where is it? On my desktop, tutorial. And there is the YouTube stinger open okay and then I now when you see it oh it changes directly to screen B so you have to move the transition point where a changes to B a little bit you can do it in milliseconds so if you timed everything correct in uh, keynote you can use that I usually just go by frames um, let me see 10 is that enough oh, I saw a little bit of green still like before they closed 13 maybe no more 15 one two oh i saw it for just a sec i saw the green one so up you know what 20 that should do the trick and it does okay so this is what the sting will look like so now when i switch between well, one screen and the other there goes so that's what it will look like. And of course, like now it's just a yellow and a green background. There I made something a little bit different as you can see. So again, you can make it as fancy if you want. You don't need After Effects or like any, what is it? Special expensive programs or something. Keynote comes standard with your Mac and hey, why not use it? As uh, you can see, like here's iMovie and you can also use your stingers with transparent background. Here we go. So put it in between and you've already seen it in this movie a few times. Hey, let's put these transitions that you made with iMovie in your iMovie project. Why not? Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, good luck making your own OBS stingers.